What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to talk about The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 14, episode 11, Cabin Fever. And that's one way of putting it. So um, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, let's jump right into it. So um, we check in with the girls and they're on the way back from the restaurant. And remember, Kenny had just made her like surprise entrance. Um, Marlo was a little bit salty uh, um, regarding that, but, um, but yeah. And then back at the house, um, Marlo says that if Kenya doesn't arrive by the morning time, uh, she doesn't want her to hang out with the rest of the girls, basically, because it's not cool. So Marlo's really like, you know, it's not cool for Kenya to just come, um, to come and go as she pleases and to not really commit to the full trip, essentially. Um, so it's the next morning. Uh, Drew, she's kind of feeling weird because um, she knows that Fatoum may or may not come through. And now Fatoum, she's... Um, She's Sheree's friend, and she and Drew have gotten into it at um, at Kenya's birthday party for uh, for Brooklyn, her little tea party she had in episode three. And he also got into it at Sheree's, um, excuse me, at, at the sleepover that Sheree had. Um, and yeah, and so she's kind of like, you know, I hope this bitch doesn't come through. I guess it could be bad vibes. So that's what Drew's on right now. And then Kenya rolls in nice and early. It is 9.04 a.m. She is there bright and early, so Marlo can't say shit, basically. Um, and then it's good vibes with Kenya, um, Drew, and Sonya. The three of them are upstairs. They're just like, oh, yeah, Kenya's here. It's good vibes and everything. Um, when she sees Marlo, Marlo, like, reaches out to, like, hug her, but Kenya, like, leaves her hanging, essentially. Um, Marlo doesn't really take to She's like, oh, I know you probably don't want to hug me, but, you know. Um, and Kenya says she's not here for the fake games with Marlo, but note that Marlo is going through the motions, you know what I'm saying? Um, and Marlo's in the confessional and she's saying that Kenya will not spoil my vibe. Now remember that, <laughs> because shit. <laughs> Listen, Kenya is not getting ready to kill my vibe. We're gonna go gym mining, we're gonna go to the vineyard, we're gonna have a good girl's time. You like it, Kenya? I love it! So no matter what you do, Lil Kenya, you will not spoil my vibe. No, 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 no. And then we have Sonya. She's talking with Kenya um, and just trying to get her to warm up to Marlo because it's very clear that Kenya is like pretty icy to Marlo right now. Um, Kenya shuts her down and she brings up how Marlo recently kicked her nephews out. Essentially being like, you know, that girl's gonna give a fuck about me. She just kicked her fucking nephews out. Like, you know, like that. Um, so Kenya is immediately going for the jugular, but you know, it's, she's going against Marlo. You have to do that shit. It is kill or be killed with Marlo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just saying. Um, and yeah, and Kenya, she proceeds to also open up, about, she opens up about her own trauma. Like, she talks about how, um, she like went to go live with her maternal, so she was raised by her paternal grandfather, by her, her paternal grandmother, excuse me. She was raised by her dad's mom. But for a couple of years, like for a little bit, and she was like, she said like, she was like in early, the early high school. So like, I mean, she was like 14 or about there. She would go live with her mom's mom. to yeah, go bond with her, her maternal side of the family. And I guess after a while, she was like, oh yeah, we're gonna take you back. You can't deal with this. Basically, you're gonna same thing Marlo is doing with her boys. And Kenya like ran away. She, was, she went to go live with an ex-boyfriend for a bit. She was gone for like, she said weeks and shit. So she opens up about her own trauma and her own, like, abandonment issues. Kind of really, um, to Sonya. She's really kind of talking about how, like, you know, I take it personally because, you know, what was done to me is what Marlo is doing to these boys, you know? So I also don't fuck with that. And so she's really opening up and she says that it hits home, you know? Um, and Sonya continues to dick ride Marlo. She's like, you know, but... Marlo, you know, she, she didn't expect to have this thrown on her. She didn't expect to have this. But Kenya's like, you know, that doesn't fucking matter. You know, you don't give kids back. You can't give kids back. And I, I really get what Kenya's saying. And with Sonia, it's like, I don't know. Sonia's, like, it seems as though Sonia, like, almost, like, completely disregarded Kenya's, like, um, the trauma aspect to it. Like, why Kenya, like, is basically speaking on it. And Sonia's just, you know what I mean? Um... Sonia's continues, like, to be Team Marlo, but Kenya just shuts her down. She's not here for it. Um, but yeah, and Sonia just, she still is really optimistic about Marlo and Kenya making up. She's like, 
I like both these girls, so I'm sure that they can make up. I'm sure of it. Sonia then shows Kenny to her room. Their sweet mates like right across from each other. Like, oh my gosh, we're sweet mates. They have like a moment down there. And then Sonia leaves Kenny to like change, basically to, to get settled in essentially. Um, then Sonia, right after, so right after they had a conversation, Sonia so showed Kenny the room. And immediately after that, Sonia goes upstairs. She sees Sheree, the OG bone collector. And she's like, you know, something just happened. So I think we need to talk to Marlo, like, now. And so Sonia and Sheree run upstairs to go talk to Marlo. Um, just so Mar Sonia can share the information. And I thought this was just so weird. Because, okay, I understand the importance of, like, carrying information on Housewives. I understand that. But I think it's important to know, like, that has to be organic. You know what I mean? Like... Like, for instance, if Sonia had been like, okay, we're sweet mates, blah, 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 done her own thing, and then if later on that day, she and Marla were talking, and Marla was like, oh, you know, I just feel so weird with Kenya, then Sonia could have been like, oh, you know, speaking of Kenya, I just had a conversation with her. Like, them bringing it up like that. I feel like that's organic, you know what I mean? It came up in conversation with Marlo. But Sonia is like, she got the information, and she's running upstairs to go tell fucking Marlo like right away and it's like really you know what I mean it's like damn bitch you like it was just uh you know what I mean if it, it felt very forced it didn't feel organic at all and it was like okay Sonia okay girl you know <laughs> and then a cherry on top is that Sonia claimed that she's peacemaking she's like you know there's a difference between peacemaking and bone collecting because when you're when you're peacemaking you know, you're you're carrying information with the intention of, like, settling differences, amending fences. And bone collecting is just being messy. That's what Sonia says. Um, and then Sonia tells Marlo about what's up. And Marlo's immediately put off on the subject. I mean, the mention of Kenya speaking on Michael and William just puts Marlo off immediately. Understandably so. He had some strong opinions about, like, what's going on with the boys and stuff. Now, see, this would be bad. No, 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 no. What opinion she has about my nephews? No. Um, and Sonia basically like, oh, why did Kenya come on this trip? She's like not gonna mend fences with you. Um, so yeah, Marlo's basically pissed. She's like, oh, we're gonna, ha I'm gonna have to have a one on one with Kenya about her speaking on Michael and William. Like, Marlo's really pissed about that. And then shortly thereafter, we see Kenya, Candy, and Sheree. They're downstairs and they're discussing she by Sheree. Um. Kenya tells Sheree, she's like, all right, well, stop talking and do it. Like, so, which I think is some great advice for Sheree at this point. It's like, bitch, stop talking about it and do it, you know? It's, um, Candy says that she by Sheree is the, the biggest business that's not a business, um, which is another a pretty good observation. She's like, girl, just fucking put something out. Like, people have known about this business and this brand for years, but they haven't been able to buy anything. Like, put something out, you know? Um, and the girls get ready to go gem mining, and, uh, Fatum arrives, and Drew is like, it's some bullshit. I'm so excited. She's just so over Fatum being there. Who is that? Hello, Diva. You made it! Oh, so I did not even think you were coming. Oh, my God. Oh, you're welcome, Diva. You look fabulous. I did not even think that you were coming. She oh really mad that she's not coming. I'm so excited. This is so amazing. I can't catch a break. Why is she here? And then just as the girls are about to head out to go gem mining, um, Marlo, she asks Kenya if they can have a, a conversation real quickly. Kenya's kind of playing dumb. She's like, oh, um, I'm not sure. Let me let me get back to you on that. And Marlo's like, oh, well, no, we're going to have a fucking conversation before we leave. Like, Kenya's kind of playing dumb and Marlo's pissed off. And then when Marlo gets pissed off, Kenya fucking disengages and she walks away. And Marlo fucking goes following her. She's like running. She's like, I'm going to go talk to you. She's going to follow her, and Kenny is fucking playing hide-and-go-seek with Marlo. It's so funny, to be honest. Kenya, I want to speak to you. <laughs> Can you open the doors, please, Kenya? I think Marlo is acting crazy, but I'm channeling Sonya right now, honey. I got the Olympic gold in my blood, honey. <laughs> <laughs> um, once they're face-to-face, -face, we don't really see much of the footage because, like, there's so much movement going on, but we hear, um... Kenya starts telling production, like, oh, like, get her off me, keep her off me, get her off me. And Marlo gets upset by this, because Marlo's like, I've never been violent with Kenya, I've never been violent on this show, I'm not gonna get violent now. So Marlo's like, calm down, but everyone, 
as Kenya puts it later, Kenya's the icon and Marlo is the ex-con. So everyone's like, all right, like, what's, what's going on? <laughs> but, um, and yeah, and then Kenya says, oh, um, if you're respectful to me, I'm gonna be respectful to you. Not directly to Marlo, but, like, she says it in general. Um, and I gotta say, I love Kenya, but it's like, girl, Marlo's been going through the motions. Like, ever since Kenya got there, Kenya's been giving Marlo the cold shoulder. Rightfully so. Mar Kenya should be paying Marlo desk, giving her the cold shoulder. But again, it's like, you can't say that, like, if Marlo's respectful to you, you're gonna be respectful to her. Because Marlo has, on this trip so far, she has been respectful of Kenya in a sense of going through the motions and such. Now, Marlo was a raging bitch to Kenya before, and Marlo was kind of stupid with her, like, rule about, like, oh, if you don't stay at the house with us, you can't, um, you can't participate in the activities but she was going through the motions, so I have to acknowledge that. And Candy also calls Kenya out. Candy's like, look, Kenya, you are you always bitch about people pushing your buttons and intentionally getting into your skin, but that's what you're doing with Marlo right now. But Kenya's like, mm, whatever. <laughs> but I get it. I totally get what Kenya's doing, but this is Marlo's trip, and she Marlo is trying to go through the motions, but... Kenny's just not here for it. Kenny's here for a check and the like, fucking cost some trouble, but I love it. Go Kenya. Um, Marlo's then really big mad about Kenya speaking on Marlo and William. She like expresses this, but this is despite the fact that Marlo has spoken on Brooklyn before. Like she lied about, she said that Kenya was lying about being pregnant and all this shit. And allegedly, according to um, Candy, I think her, her speak on it, little YouTube show, she had Fatum on there, and they were, ta they were saying that a lot was edited out of this fight in the driveway. That, like, Marlo allegedly said something about Brooklyn. Like, it was bad. Um, but we don't really know what happened. Um, <clears throat> and then Marlo says something about, like, oh, um, no one in this group can take me away from those boys. Like, then Kenny's like, yeah, because you gave them away. Like, she says that. You bet not every your life put michael and william's name in your mouth again can you no one in this group would take me away from michael and william okay oh, no yeah, one because you gave them she away. cannot say anything Kenya. um and then marlo and kenny are going at it in the driveway and manietta is like what the fuck she's like what did kenny get me into <laughs> um and sonia she tries playing peacemaker with kenya and Kenya actually calls Sonia out because she's like, look, Sonia, you are so fucking upset about how Drew was treating Sheree earlier this year, but now you don't give a fuck about how Marla's treating me and that's some bullshit. And Sonia's like, oh, it's not the same. It's not the same thing. I've been... And it's like, Sonia, you... Ugh, I don't know, man. I don't know. How do you feel about Sonia? It's like, she's kind of annoying me, but I'm starting to recognize her as like a force on the show almost. And granted, you know, it seems like her personal storyline is so rooted in, like, yeah, I live with my family, and yeah, my, my husband wants to have a kid, but I don't. But, you know, her messiness with everything, it's starting to be like, okay, it's delivering certain stuff, but it's also, like, I don't, I feel like she's being disingenuous. That's what, that's what I don't like about Sonia. It's like she's putting in work, but she's not, like, owning that she's putting in work. You know what I mean? But it, she's just a rookie, so maybe this, she'll kind of go more into, like, the, the villain role later on. I don't know. What do you guys think about Sonya? I don't know. I, I have not been her biggest fan thus far, I have to admit. But it's, like, I'm starting to feel like I kind of have similar feelings for her, towards her as they had towards Giselle Bryant on Potomac. It's kind of like, oh, I don't like you, but I recognize that you're bringing something and that you, like, are stirring. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I warmed up more to Giselle, but God, I did not like Giselle for the longest time. Oh my God. Um, all in all, the ladies spend an hour and a half in the driveway, basically because Marlo's like refusing to go gem mining with Kenya. That's essentially what it seems to be. It's kind of like, why are you guys just sitting there? Um, the girls kind of decide to split up. Like, let's go in two cars. Fuck it. Fuck the drama. It's been an hour and a half. Girl, let's do something. Um, and then... <laughs> Drew, she's like, I want to go gem mining, but I don't want to ride with this bitch. And she's talking about Fatum. <laughs> and Fatum gets all fucking mad. Production kind of steps in and kind of keeps them apart. Um, and then Drew, she calls Fatum Sheree's lap dog. And Drew starts barking and shit. And it's so, oh my gosh. Girl, sit down, girl. You came here to be Sheree's lap dog. No, no, no. You thought Sheree doesn't have a lap dog. 
Go pee in a bush. She's barking. She's your lap dog. She's not my lap dog. I don't have a lap dog. She, she, she's your lap dog. And I don't no, want to ride it. I do not have a lap dog. I have friends. What is this dog thing you got going on? What is the barking? I know y'all some real bitches. I get it. It's too much for me. This is not the type of vacation I was looking for. Fatum is really upset, and um, she's kind of pulling a Fallon low-key. So, allegedly, um, we're on the street is that Fatum's behavior on this trip resulted in her not making less appearances later in the season. We'll see if that's true. But, um, yeah, because you remember the last thing when Fallon got all pissed at LaToya and just, like, escalated? That almost seems what Fatum is bringing in this trip so far. She was just getting so mad, like, damn, um... But yeah, and then they don't, while they're like just there sitting down and just waiting, the girls kind of split up. Some go go take pictures, some go to this trampoline that's outside and just kind of have fun. Um, Marlo's upstairs in her room, and I believe it's Sheree and Sonia, they go looking for her and they find her. And Marlo's like on her bed, laying on her stomach, like wipe, like kind of tearing up, kind of crying. And she's like, I want to leave the drama at home. I want to get away from the drama. And it's like, I, God, you know, let's talk about Marlo for like a second. So it's like, she has quickly fallen from grace in the public, the sphere of public, in the sphere of public opinion. Um, and I feel like we're all rooting for her at the beginning because it's like, you know, we're like, okay, we'll see more of Marlo. It's her first season as a full time. We're going to see her in her Munty role. But someone pointed out, they were like, you know, I don't know why I get surprised that Marlo's acting like this because... She's been, like, we've seen her on the show forever, but she's been a friend of, she's been bringing just the drama and the spitfire. And now it's the same shit. So it's like, why, why are you surprised? You know, it's, um, but because she's a full-timer, it's like more, she's more in the loop, you know? Um, but yeah, but this made me feel kind of bad for her. Because again, Marlo was kind of going through the motions. Right when Kenya entered the restaurant, Marlo was like, hi, Kenya, you look beautiful. She tried to hug her this morning, but it's like, I don't know, I do get where Kenya's coming from, though, but it's like, I, I did kind of feel for Marlo a little bit. I hate to say it at this point, because Marlo's on my nerves, but I did kind of feel for it, like, objectively, you know what I mean? It's like, this is her trip, she got this house to get away, and she wanted to get, get away from the drama. She made, and you could say that they were fake, you can say that they were empty attempt, but it was being, it was making, it was going through the motions, which is something, you know what I mean? Um... But yeah, and then the girls go in separate cars and they finally head to gem mining. Uh, when they get there, Marlo thanks Sonia for having her back because Marlo's like, you know, I know you're cool with me in Kenya. I know you see both sides, but you're like, you know, this is about Marlo. This is Marlo's trip, so I appreciate that. So Marlo's thanking Sonia for sucking her dick. <laughs> and then um, they're inside the gem place and the owner has this Trump 2024 sign, which Kenya disrupts, which Twitter loved. I'm sorry, I, I kind of disrupted your Trump sign. Sorry. Here you go. Sorry. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Which way do we go? Going out the front door. All right. I'm following you. Let's go, oh, ladies. Okay. You see that Trump sign? Oh, stop. <laughs> I was just cleaning up the place a little bit. Just looked a little, little dirty, a little out of place, a little angry. So I just wanted to clean up, tidy it up a little bit. Uh, they're gem mining. Drew says that's lame and corny. Um, and really nothing of no. Um, Fatum eventually so like sits down directly across from Drew. And like the moment Fatum's ass sit, hit the seat, Drew's ass lifted off of her seat. She's like, nope. <laughs> like uh, like two magnets almost. You know what I mean? Like, like nope. That's not happening. Um, so Drew instantly gets up. And Fatum, she's like, why are you running? Are you scared? Sit down. You don't have nothing to say now. Like, she's like, and these are like she, verbatim quotes. Like, she's like going on and on. And Drew didn't say anything. Drew just rose from her seat, you know? Um, so Drew has this girl pressed. The event's over. Um, Marlo, she says that she feels as though the trip's ruined and just can't be saved. Because um, again, she and Kenya got into it. Drew and Fatum are getting into it now. So she's just like, oh my gosh. Um... And Marlo says she's drained in the car still, and um, she casually drops that um, one of her nephew's birthday is tomorrow, and it's like, bitch, what? 
<laughs> she casually mentions that. Um, and then back at the house, um, Sheree goes to check in on Marlo, who's, like, in her closet. And Sheree's like, oh, what's going on? And Marlo's like, oh, I'm just, I'm ready to pack up and leave. Like, I'm just, I, I'm not with this shit. Um, she says she regrets inviting Kenya. And it's like, well, bitch, this is a cast trip. Like, I don't know what the fuck you expect. You, this is a cast trip, bitch, you know? <laughs> um... But yeah, and then Sheree says that Marlo's cracking, and Marlo has Sheree gather the ladies for a quick meeting in the living room. So Sheree goes around, like, meeting in five minutes, in the like a little family meeting in the living room type shit. And while the girls are together, Marlo opens up to the girls about, like, how she, she came up on this trip to recharge, and she does not feel recharged. And in fact, she feels worse than she felt when she, like, left Atlanta. Um... And then right after, Fatum, she interjects, and she's like, Marlo, I just want to say this to you. I apologize for my behavior. I should have been the bigger person. Um, she's having this shady apology and kind of, like, shitting on Drew a little bit in the meantime. Um, then Drew kind of says something, and Fatum pops up. She's like, shut the fuck up! Like, Fatum's so pressed at Drew. Like, oh my god. She, Drew has this bitch bothered. Um, and then Drew, she tells Sheree, she's like, you know, Sheree, like, Keep your lap dog cool. And then Drew's like, you know, in fact, here, I brought something for you. And Drew brings out a dog bone and tosses it onto the ground. She's like, here you go. Arf, arf. <laughs> like, and Sheree in her confessional, she's like, did this bitch just throw Ralph's dildo? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, sorry. Yeah, let's not do it right now. Just all because all I need you to do is just get your puppy. Marlo is upset though. Just, yeah. But still, you just let yes. her have her moment talk. talking to Marlo. Just, I got something for you. This is where. Get it, bitch. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Did this bitch throw Ralph's dildo at the tomb? Like it was so unexpected and like so quick after the scene. It was really funny to be honest. Um, Fatum acts unbothered, but you can tell she's pissed. She's like, is that all you got? Is that all you got? Like, she's, Drew has this girl so bothered. Um, and then Marlo seems to kind of tell the girls that, you know, she called cars for everyone, and she would just like everyone to, to basically leave. Like, kicking these bitches out. Um, Magneta, she's on some Gandhi shit. She's in the confessional, like, I feel like as black women, we should be able to come together. And it's like, girl, you're on the wrong show. Like, someone said that on Twitter. <laughs> like, when you guys on the wrong show, this is the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like, <laughs> but it was funny. It's, it's nice to have this, like, new, it's almost like naive energy. It's like, what's going on? Like, why can't we all make peace? It's, 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 it's kind of refreshing. If it's not the fake kind of shit like Sonia's doing, it's like the fake peacemaking. It's like some real, like, why can't we all just get along? Like, <laughs> Um, Marlo, she said she came to unwind, and to do that, she needs to kick these bitches out, essentially. Um, and a side note, Marlo's, like, on the phone with someone, and she's like, and I don't know what the fuck's up with Sheree's friend, but she was just pop Like, even Marlo is like, what the fuck is up with Fatum? <laughs> so, yeah, but we're on the street is that we don't really see Fatum as much anymore. She's kind of, she kind of pulled a Fallon, if you, if you know what I mean. Um, but we'll see if that's true or not, you know, who knows. Um, and Moneta, as mentioned, she got some confessionals. Uh, she got two, actually. Well, it was, like, the same confessional, but in two different parts, you know? Um, so I'm calling it two confessionals. Um, so hopefully she stays on. Hopefully she becomes solid as a, a friend of, you know, whatever. And that's it for the, this episode, so... Yeah, so it was crazy. All the girls, I can't, like, all the girls, like, I've never been kicked out of somewhere. Like, and... Oh my gosh, but yeah, so Marla was big mad, Fatum was big mad, Drew was also big mad, but not as big mad as Fatum and um, Marlo. Kenya wasn't really big mad, she was more just like, I don't give a fuck, I don't respect you, like, which is almost more meaningful, because like, Kenya doesn't give a fuck, you know? Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good episode, all in all, um, please let me know what you thought in the comments, and while you're there, be sure to also rate and subscribe if you like. Um, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.